What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be starting another accent wall. Should take us two to three days, I wanna say, but I got everything set up right here for what we need and I'm about to take it onto the house. So what I got was the Easy Sand 45. This is a 45 minute joint compound. It cures in 45 minutes, pretty obvious there. Got me a five gallon bucket here. Uh, it has to have the Texas flag on it or it's not gonna work, so just make sure it can't be any other state. Make sure you get the Texas flag bucket. Then we got our drill with our handle and then our mixer. And then we got some drywall and plaster sanding screens. These are 220. So these are gonna give us a nice smooth finish when we sand this stuff down. I'll show you the wall. It's a pretty small wall and it's a unique design. But our goal today, like I mentioned, is just to get this, this wall skimmed and flush because we won't be able to use any temper hardboard on this design. So let's go check it out. All right, so here's the wall. It's an 11 by 10 wall. And down here in Texas, we have a lot of this. It's called knockdown texture. You can see it's sprayed on there with a texture gun and then you come back with a knockdown knife and just knock down the texture so you get these kind of you know the the pieces of splatter that are have landed on there when they get knocked down you get this flat kind of a uh, finish there where you touch it with that knife and that's what we're going to fill in all these little ridges and valleys in this texture need to be filled in so it's completely smooth And that should be good to get started. Now we're just waiting on John. I can't start without John. It's another uh, one of those tools that you need. You gotta have John. There he is right there. We can finally get started. So this base has to come off and then I'm just going to mark where I can pry on it. Just makes it easier so you don't punch a hole through the drywall. Definitely don't want to do that. So what I'm trying to do here is put enough of this in there to make it like pancake batter. I shouldn't say that, I'm on a diet right now. You just want to get a nice consistency, mix it and either add more compound or more water to get to that kind of consistency I'm after. And once you start mixing it, you can easily tell what you're going to need more of. That's obviously way too watery. It'll just add more compound. And that's what I'm after right there. So we got 45 minutes to work with this stuff, giving ourselves plenty of time. And essentially what I'm trying to do is fill in all of that knockdown. So I'll just put it on here. What I can do is just glide over it and then just push that material so it fills in all those little voids. And then we're gonna do that across this wall two times. We'll float it out really nice and then we can sand it down to where it's super smooth. So just off that first little section that I did, you can already see how flat it is, especially up against the natural light that we have coming in. So it gets flat real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and finish this entire wall with our first coat. Mm -hmm. 
And this took us 20 minutes from start to finish to put this on. So really not too long. We're gonna clean our tools off, get ready for the next coat. And we're probably gonna sand in between the first and second coat and definitely after the second coat. So here's our second heavier coat. So this is gonna take a little bit longer than 45 minutes to dry. So while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and snap the lines, and make sure we've got this thing laid out the way we want it to before we start cutting boards tomorrow. And we may be able to sand this today, but depending on how long it takes to dry, uh, we may just do it in the morning because we really just laid this stuff on there super thick. So I'm not really expecting it to take 45 minutes at this point. But we'll snap our lines and see if she's good with it, and then we can move on. Is this half right there? Could you call that half, that triangle? Like from here to here? Let's put that in half, right? Minus three? Oh, I was doing it divided by three. Oh, okay. oh this thing is like a little bit of a rectangle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, we need it. Like, see how far I'll stop on 110 and a half. All right, guys, I think we're getting it. It's another abstract one for you, but I think it's going to look cool when it's all said and done. There is a method to the madness, and the method is madness. There's no method. Now there's a little bit of a method in here. We split some stuff in thirds right here, in halves right here. We took this corner up there. That's exactly a, a right angle right there. And then off that we split on this. And then the madness part is where this comes over eight inches. So let me back up. These blue lines represent one by twos and all in between these, there's gonna be a, a trim board, one by two. So this one is eight inches from that, but this one's gonna be six inches. And then this dash line right here is not gonna be a trim board. That's my imaginary line to find the middle to get these two boards. So it's a brain buster, but we're figuring it out and it's gonna be a unique one. All right, so I just realized you guys really can't see the blue lines on the camera. But trust me, they're there. There they are. You can see them when I get closer. But as you can see, this is kind of an abstract design. So we got boards kind of shooting everywhere. But it'll make more sense whenever I get the actual boards on tomorrow and you can see it. And you guys can let me know what you think. But I like the design so far. We're going to go see if we can get approval and then move on. All right, so we went ahead and got every piece measured for our cut list tomorrow. And I know it looks like we didn't really get a whole lot done today, but we have really set ourselves up for a successful day tomorrow. We can have all of this put in by lunchtime, I'm assuming tomorrow. So we're in good shape. This may be a two day job, probably a two and a half day. But this is what we got, all these measurements. It looks like chaos, but I know what's going on here. We got our bottom rail measured, top rail, our vertical styles, those two, and then everything that's going on in the middle. So I got some pictures even on my phone. So when I'm scratching my head tomorrow at the saw, I can pull that out and see what these intersections do if I don't really remember how it looks on here. And then I got a note to myself right here too. Don't screw up because I don't want to have to recut all these custom little pieces. It's not too bad though. But the way we have this set up, Everything's based off of a square or right angle. So that being said, every cut that I'm going to make tomorrow is either going to be a 45 or a straight cut. So this intersection right here, this is a 45 and then that's a straight cut. This right here, all straight cuts and so on and so forth. So it's pretty basic and it's, it's just nice knowing that it's all going to work out like that. 